Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to talk about why not giving second chances to some people may save your time. And might save your life. You see. Narcissists bank on second chances. Part of the reason why our narcissist targeted us. Is they know we are kind and generous. And more than likely. We are the type to give a second chance to them. When they treat us bad. Or they do something underhanded towards us. As we've talked about here before. The sweet mean cycle. Or the narcissist do do test goes in waves. They build you up with being overly nice. Kind and helpful. Then they out of nowhere start to tear you down with either subtle to overt put downs. They will devalue things they once seemed to value you for. They will test your boundaries to see how weak. Or non-existent they are. They might yell or scream at you for no reason. They might accuse you of cheating if it's a romantic relationship. They might tell you something. Then later tell you they never told you what they told you. And the list goes on and on. And after a toxic episode of this. You know what the narcissist is banking on. They are banking on you will forgive them and take them back into your life. That you will give them a second chance. And I'm here to tell you. This is like giving a cobra a second chance to bite you. You see most of us give out second chances to these types of people because we were conditioned to. Many of us that do this grew up in narcissistically abusive homes. Where this kind of treatment was a way of life. The rug constantly getting yanked out from under us. Then our narcissistic parent or parents would do or say something to gain our trust back again. Only to yank the rug out from under us once more. And these sick narcissists get off on the fact they can fool us so easily. But if you were conditioned to be a doormat since you were a child. It's all you know. Because essentially that's what you've become. A doormat. And this was taught to you over many years of brainwashing and conditioning. Also, we give out second chances. Because we know how we've been judged over the course of our life. Because maybe we didn't have a family we could talk about or bring around others. Because our home life was so embarrassing. Because even though we look normal on the outside. We felt like rejects on the inside. Because our lives never matched up to the normal people we knew. And because we wished others gave us the benefit of the doubt. We allow ourselves to show this empathy to those that are abusing us. We think. Maybe I should give them a second chance. Because I would want someone to do the same thing for me. And this is what the narcissist is banking on. Let me tell you something. If someone is treating you nice. Really really nice. Then out of nowhere starts to crap all over your relationship. This person can no longer be trusted. They are as evil as a snake and by you giving them a second chance you are handing this clown the keys to drive your life right into a ditch. When this abuse happens. No matter if someone gaslights you about the littlest thing. Make a mental note this person is to not get a second chance. And this is someone you are no longer going to invest in regarding developing more of a relationship with. And like I've mentioned in previous videos. You don't need to go to this person and tell them why you are mad at them. Why you are bothered with what they said or did. Because for one. This person knows what they said or did. I'm pretty sure they know they were gaslighting you when they were gaslighting you. Or when they started the do-do test on you. This is all purposeful and something they are well aware of. And by confronting them. You are just feeding them supply because that's what they want. And it also gives them another chance to spin the story and turn it around on you. And get you to feel like you owe them a second chance. And because of how you were raised you just might end up sticking around with this toxic person. Because they were able to talk you into it. No. Just stop answering their calls. Stop communicating with them. And they will get the hint. And they will move on to a new target they can get their supply from. And I also want you to understand. You have nothing to be guilty about from doing this. Because I know this is the main feeling we feel when this is happening. Like. Did I do the right thing? 
was I right in not talking to this person anymore? Maybe I should have given them a second chance. I want you to do me a favor. And think about all the second chances you've given to the narcissists in your life. And think about how well things worked out. And how many years it added to your pain. I want you to remember that when someone new is treating you poorly. Because you will start to train yourself to walk away from these type of situations. And no longer feel guilty about walking away. But you will feel good about it. Because you know that you are doing something positive for yourself and your life. You're practicing a boundary. And that's a good thing. And like I've mentioned in my previous videos. If you get a situation wrong. And you stop dealing with someone that's not a narcissist. But they were just being a jerk. That's okay. Because mistakes happen. And you can't go back and think. What if? What if I got it wrong? If you got it wrong. I'm sure the other person will be okay. And hopefully they will learn a lesson that you have boundaries. And it's not okay to treat people quite possibly how they treated you. But even when we are dealing with someone that's not a narcissist. But they still exhibit toxic traits. They still tend to bank on the fact. They can say what they want to say. And do what they want to do to you. And you will just accept them back into your life after all the dust has settled. And I will tell you the most successful people in life. And the people that I find that are the most happiest. They aren't so easy to win back. They move forward. They are nice to everyone. But they have no time in their life for being treated bad. And they don't sit around pondering if a person is really their friend or not. They just see bad treatment and they act. They move on. And by doing this. It allows themselves to be able to find themselves around people that for starters respect their boundaries. And also to be around people that have boundaries themselves. Stop giving these clowns your time. Your attention and your second chances. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve you. And I think once we master walking away from these clowns they will be seen for what they are. And that's a big good for nothing clown. And the only supply they will have is themselves. Because when a narcissist doesn't have a kind decent person to feed on. They will just feed on a lower grade narcissist. One that's not as smart as they are. And one they can control. And that's just great. Just as long as they aren't bothering us. You need to start realizing you're not a bad person for cutting people out of your life. I know the guilt can be tough. But there's nothing to be guilty about. And realize that guilt was put there more than likely by the narcissist that raised you. In order to keep you in one spot without moving so they could always feed on you. And the other narcissist in the world are just capitalizing on this trait you now have because of the first narcissist that got a hold of you. That's all this guilt is that you're feeling when you want to get away from these people. So listen to your gut when you feel uncomfortable with someone's poor treatment towards you. Move forward. And stop giving these clowns a second chance. Because they don't deserve it. They never did. And they never will. Because when we know better we do better. Like I always say. Knowledge is power. The more we know. The more we can lead happy and healthy lives. Until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.